A man is expected to face court charged with murdering three people at a boarding house in Sydney's inner west. Richard Hotteron is accused of setting fire to the building, which caused an explosion. Crime reporter Mark Reddy joins us now from Central Local Court. Hi there, Mark. Has he faced court yet? Well, Ros, Richard Hotteron chose to remain in his police cell when his matter was briefly mentioned here before Central Local Court. No application for bail was made and bail was formally refused. The 45-year-old is a former resident of the boarding house in Newtown that he allegedly doused in an accelerant before setting on fire. The 45-year-old was arrested at Surrey Hills Police Station last night after handing himself in. He was extensively questioned by detectives from the arson and homicide squads before being formally charged with the murders of three other residents. An 80-year-old man remains in a critical condition at Royal North Shore Hospital after he was seriously injured in the inferno. He broke his legs and then suffered a heart attack before being admitted to the emergency department. Police say that this was a maliciously lit fire, that this was murder, although they're yet to find out a motive for the attack. The motive will form part of our inquiry. As we sit here now, we don't know the reason that the fire was set. Our allegation will be that the person we arrested last night set the fire, but we do not know why that person did that. Now, the man is known to police. Um, I don't want to go into his history, but, um, but, but we're comfortable with the brief evidence as it is so far. Investigators are still wanting to speak to the owner of the boarding house, a man by the name of Albert Wong, who owns several boarding houses across Sydney. They are quick to stress he's not a suspect, but they do want to speak to him as they continue their investigations. What else are investigators doing today, Mark? Well, investigators have returned to the building, which is really full of rubble. Uh, there is a lot of debris, and that was part of the struggle yesterday as detectives tried to uh, see if there were any bodies beneath uh, all that uh, rubble and wood on the ground. So it was unsafe yesterday, and so today they're expected to go in again to try and search other rooms of that place. Uh, we know that three people were killed in the inferno. A fourth person is feared dead and they're also expecting potentially to find other bodies. We do know boarding houses are places where people come and go. They're transient environments. Uh, so it could be that there were more than 11 people staying there at that time. So no doubt we will hear more later today. Mark, thank you.